This is a little continuation video of our circle of fourths and circle of fifths. I know we talked about this before. Let's just write it out really quick. Hopefully you, you've memorized this or are pretty close to memorizing it by now. So we already discussed that this way is fourths. This way is fifths. What I want to talk about today is what is this across? So, what is that? What is the relationship of C to G flat? Or, you know, we could call this F sharp too. Same thing. Okay, so if you think about it, look at this. Now C to G is a fifth, but if you flat this, if you flatten this G by a half step, it becomes G flat. So that is this, G flat. So that, so across is flat five is a flat 5 across. And sometimes we call this we call this a tritone. Okay, let's listen to that interval. So there's C and there's G flat or F sharp. A long time ago in the classical world, they outlawed this interval, as they called it, the devil's interval. It's kind of funny. And I know that, I can't remember offhand which composer, it may have been Bach, um, would sneak the thing in there, you know, um, uh, in his music. Uh, anyway, I can't, I don't recall the story exactly, but in any case... Um, this is called a tritone or a flat five. Now, let's look at this G flat and its relationship to C. So, now we're talking about going the opposite direction. Okay? So, again, if we're going this way, and we've got this G flat right here. Now, a fifth from G flat is D flat. And if we take this D flat and we flatten it by a half step, I mean, think about that. D flat, if you flatten that by a half step, what do you got? You got C, right? So, there's C. So if you look at it going the opposite direction, it is also a flat 5 going the opposite way. So it works both ways. So E flat to A is a flat 5, and A to E flat is a flat 5, or a tritone. So why does this matter? <laughs> well, first of all, it's, it's good to know your intervals. Um, but second of all, um, this is going to... Um, maybe in the next video we'll talk about how this applies um, for uh, chord changes. So, um, so check that out. You know, think about think about that and how these things work across from each other. And we will um, next time we will talk about tritone substitution and how um, how this applies for harmony. So thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe to these videos if you uh, if they're helpful. And feel free to send me any uh, comments or questions. I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much.